Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new and if that is the case then please subscribe. So to start off, I really hope you guys enjoyed last week's video that I did. I vlogged Whistler, my 5678 dance competition. If you haven't seen that, please go watch that. I had a lot of fun vlogging it. It wasn't the best vlog, but I still tried. So as soon as this product came out and it was all over social media, I knew right away that I wanted to try it and I'm saying it right now right here. I'm filming this video May 23rd at 7.04 so if anybody else has uploaded this video before that, um, I filmed this on the 23rd so like I'm not copying anybody. The product that I'm going to be showing you is the 3 second brow eyebrow stamp. It's like, it's like a stamper thing. It has two like different like shapes and you stamp it on your eyebrows to fill them in. I don't really need to fill in my eyebrows. I just kind of like, I do but I don't. But like, so I want to see if this can make them really dramatic or can see keep them really soft. I have not opened this. I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond for $19.99, so like 20 bucks. Pretty expensive, but I'm not probably not going to keep it. I'll probably give it to like one of my friends or whatever. Open it. This is what you see inside. It has the two um, stamping shapes. I'll probably use the top one. And then it has the like powder gel stuff under there. It only comes in one color and it says that this color should work for most brow like colors and shapes and all. Haven't opened it, still has all the tape and stuff on it everywhere. Let's just dive into this. I need scissors, hang on. Got some scissors. Now we are just going to open this up. Pull this out. Pull this off. Pull it out. Oh, there's like something under here. What is this? Ah! This is the like, this is like the box, or whatever. I haven't opened this yet. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Pretty self explanatory. You put the shape in that you want, you pat it in the powder, and then you put it on your eyebrow. It should take, they say three seconds because, like, one, put in the thing, two stamp, three apply. And we're gonna open it. Ah. Just like. It feels, oh they come up, okay. It feels just like a makeup sponge, like if you buy like one from like the dollar store or something. That's exactly what it feels like. It's really soft, really squishy. This is what this one looks like. It has that really intense arch, which a lot of people have. I might end up using this one. Then here's what the second one looks like. It's definitely more just like of a frowny kind of one. If you don't have any like definition or shape to your eyebrow and then the last thing is the powder and like the top here it has the left it has like the other side of them but it pops open that way that was really difficult what oh okay i was really confused because i just opened it and it looked like there was like another stamp thing but you basically just remove that try not touch it and then there's the color Oh god, thank god I have a mat there. Jeez, I would have shattered it and that would have been a huge mess. So it says one color should be fine for all um, I like eyebrow colors, so we're just gonna see how this goes. I need to take off what I have on my eyebrows now. I'm only gonna take off the eye my eyebrows. Okay, I don't really have like I barely wear like stuff on my eyebrows and now everybody's gonna be commenting down below like oh my god like she felt like she colors in her eyebrows like no i really don't it's just i do in those sparse areas no it's like my eyebrows literally look the exact same like kind of just a little bit like a little bit more sparse but we're gonna try this anyways we're gonna see if we can fill in those sparse areas this eyebrow is definitely really weird because i have like a weird like thing there i don't really know I took it all off and we're just going to dry them and now we're going to decide which one I want to use. Okay, here we go. I'm like kind of scared here. I'm going to do my right eyebrow first. So you're just supposed to dip it in. But this would have been like one like one dab and it would have been good to go but I'm having to put it in a lot. So I just put the product on, that's what it looks like at first. So now I'm gonna stamp it on. Oh my god, hopefully I don't look too crazy. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Mm. Okay. 
Okay. It's on there. I'm just gonna... Oh, no, sorry, there it is. Yeah, 8 o'clock. Okay. So. I just stamped it on twice. There's still a lot of product on there. Um, so. I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm gonna just, like, brush away all the excess and shape it. Okay, so I just stamped it on. And it doesn't look that bad. It looks like how I would actually like fill in my eyebrows. I hate to say it, but I'm kind of into it. We're into it, guys. Like, that, ooh, I like it. Oh, I never thought I'd actually say that. And now I have to just have to do this side. We're gonna do it again. For those of you who are wondering, I am ambidextrous, which means, if you don't know what that means, it's like, I can use both my right and left hand. So stamping this should not be too hard. I know some people would struggle with it if they're more, if they really have a hand that's more dominant. I do have a hand that's more dominant. It's my right hand, but I can use my left and right hand and use both of my hands. So this one isn't picking up the product as well. I have the product on, so we'll just stamp it. The grip though is really good on this. Like I like it. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that one did not work <laughs> jeez oh my god let's just clean this up cleaning up isn't that bad like I can just if I took my makeup wipe just brushed it away oh yeah okay so the left eyebrow did not go as smooth as the right one Ew, this looks so wonky. You know what, let's just redo that eyebrow. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, um, if you want more color, you press more firmly. And then if you don't want a lot of color, you press it really lightly. It all depends on color preference. I'm pressing pretty hard. Like, and I'm going back and forth. And it always seems to be good for me. I'm just gonna try this again. Round two. I honestly don't think this eyebrow is gonna work for me. Press on, wiggle around, press off. See, that was a lot better. It's a little bit darker than this, than my right eyebrow, my left one. So I'm like covering the camera with my uh, mirror. I'm using like an eyeshadow palette as my mirror. Okay, so. Turn my finger through it. See, like a lot just came off and I didn't really like... I barely pushed, but, hmm, okay, the camera stopped recording, guys, sorry. So once I, like, brushed through it, there you go, it looks a little better, so. I'm not gonna try this weird shape because I just, just after putting on that one, I can, I feel like this one's not really gonna work, but I just used that, okay, that, this actually isn't that bad. For four weeks, not that bad. I'm gonna stamp my right eyebrow just a little bit more. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Barely pushed on that. And a lot more came off than I did when I pushed a lot. So, just gonna brush through it. I think I'm done. So, now the real question is, did it work? Yes, it worked for me. I find that the shape with the more arch was better for me just because of my eyebrow shape. Um, I don't really know how long this would last you. But it is kind of cute just to, like, throw in here bunch of stuff just came out well just to like throw in there and then you can also take like here let's stamp them on my hand push release that's stamped pretty well okay um you can see left eyebrow it's like goes up and then down like it's such a wonky shape what the heck the right one turned out like perfect and the left one's longer the left one's longer than the right the shape is a lot better I don't know. So I snips on my arm, they don't look that good, but on my eyebrows, they don't look terrible. Okay, so do they work? Yes, they clearly do work. They work a lot better than I thought. They feel really cool. The product, once you put it on your eyebrow or your skin, you can wipe away for like the first couple of seconds, but after that, it kind of really like sinks in there. Would I recommend you do this? 
If you color in your eyebrows a lot, like a lot a lot, you're basically putting a stencil on your face and you're drawing them out so dramatically than what they actually are. I would recommend you get this because it just works a lot better if, if it works for your shape. Would I buy it again? No, not really. I prefer using what I use now. I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade Color Taupe. This is definitely... If you are going to spend $20 on this, I would pay the extra $3 to get the pomade because it works a lot better, it lasts a lot longer. Because this is just like some cheap stuff and because the Anastasia Pomade is $23, this is $20. So get the get like a pomade or like a pencil, spend the extra like three, like eight dollars or whatever it is. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to stick around for my next video. I post weekly. I try to reply to all your comments. I have been right now. You guys have been giving me some video suggestions. I'm really happy that you guys are. Let me know if you want me to vlog again, and then I will definitely try and do that. Or if you want me to test out any other fun products. So that is it for this video, and I'll see you later. Bye guys. Peace.